Hey, it's Carl at kakawite.com and sidehustleartist.com. Today, I wanna to answer a question that was sent to me by one of my newsletter subscribers and her name is Marie. And Marie writes, Hi Carl, I was wondering how to go about charging friends who request paintings from me because I've found out that through the years, friends somehow expect paintings from me for free. I enjoy doing these works, but I am getting a little bit ticked off at giving away my work. Friends tend to use their friendship as a way of getting around me and I find it difficult to come right out and say, I will charge such and such amount. At this point, I'm just flat out refusing to do any more freebies. Do you have any more helpful suggestions and have you experienced this kind of thing before yourself? Yes, thanks Marie. Right from the beginning, I've always tried to portray high value in my own artwork. And when I first started that many years ago, I was selling my work for around about $100, sometimes less, sometimes more. But even then, at that $100 price point, I always portrayed a sense of value in my artwork. By doing this, I never really had the concerns of friends and family wanting free work. The idea was to give them the impression that it would be kind of rude to ask for a free painting. Let's face it, we love our friends and family and we would do anything to help them out. But that isn't any reason why you should be at a loss through cost of materials, time and energy, just because old Aunty Martha would love it if you could give her one of your new paintings at no cost. Now what I'm about to tell you, I'm not telling you so I can boast about my own work. I'm telling you so you can appreciate the point I'm trying to make and how you should value your own artwork. Now I have a couple of family members who have actually purchased my paintings, which of course hang on the walls of their homes. So when the people, they have visitors who visit their homes, those people know that my family members have paid for those paintings. And as a result, this has made my work even more appealing. You see the people visiting, they know that my work holds significant value. Well, it must have if my family members even had to pay for them. Now, if it's your decision to give your art as a gift, then that's fine. I've done so myself with birthdays and also wedding gifts. But for the most part, each of my paintings have a price tag. And I once had a painting that was hot off the easel, so, so to speak. And I sent a letter out to my collectors before the paint was even dry. And within hours, a couple of hours, I generated some interest from that, from that collector list. And some were very keen to actually buy the painting. Now at the time, I happened to be on the phone to a family member and I mentioned the interest I was having in this particular painting and she asked to see it. So I sent her a website link and she literally rang me back within two minutes and told me not to sell the painting to anyone. She loved it and she, she was gonna pay full price for it and even more if she had to in order to own it. Now, while I personally think I produce good art, I also let people know that I produce good art in the manner that I talk about and present my work. And this adds considerable intangible value to your work. Now I make sure that family are aware of the value of my work and I'm absolutely serious about this. I'm not being rude and I'm, I'm not being arrogant about it, but I make it known. And additionally, I never say things like, gosh, that painting didn't turn out like I wanted it to. Oh well, I'll just have to try again. You can't really do that with your work. If you are prone to doing this, you're essentially openly devaluing your work. And remember, what rolls off your lips essentially becomes your reality. So if you are really disappointed by a piece of work, don't just hand it over to a family member for free. Paint over it and try again, because if you do hand it over for free, they'll never really get to appreciate the value of your work. And there are a couple of ways that you can begin to end the whole hassle of family asking you for free art. One way to address this issue is to tell them that you're trying to build up a business and perhaps you even need to build up a, a collection of work for when you have your art exhibit. However, tell them that if they are prepared to pay you for the painting, they will essentially be helping you out with the costs that are associated to setting up the exhibit. Therefore, you can afford to be a painting short for the exhibit because now you have some money to cover the initial setup costs. Now, if for some reason they don't see the same value in your work as you do, and they don't wanna pay for the asking price, then explain the value they will be contributing towards your exhibit and how many people will potentially be coming to view your work. Now, this could well give them a sense of pride, especially if they love you, as, as they should. So the big points to remember here are talk about your work in a manner that adds perceived value to it, and this will help your friends and family attach a monetary figure to your artwork. 
and stop giving your work away if you don't feel comfortable doing it. There's nothing wrong with giving a family member a gift in the form of a painting. But if a family member or a friend asks for a free one, say no, but I'm happy to provide a discount though. Also, hang your art proudly in your own home. If your art requires frames, then get them framed and hang them about the house. Some artists really struggle with this because they constantly want to make adjustments to their work because they constantly walk around the house and they can see the paintings everywhere. But by hanging your art in your own home, you are essentially telling people that your work has significant value. And I've heard some artists downplay their work at art shows. So my tip is don't be an amateur commentator of your work. If people say, oh, that's a nice painting, don't say things like, yeah, it's okay, I would have liked it been a little bit better in parts, but it turned out okay. No, tell them you agree with them and that it was such a joy to paint and I can't wait to get it out into the public eye. So by doing that, you've added significant value to your artwork. And if you are really struggling with saying no, then consider offering your friends and family a discount. That way you at least cover your costs and still make a profit. Maybe not as much profit as you would have made selling it to the general public but at least you've made a sale and you've provided some great art for a friend or a family member. Get into the habit of not assuming people want it for free. Make sure you have trained yourself to ensure that payments will be required for your art. You may, you may have given art to friends and family when you first started and you've not changed that mindset. So it's something you need to address in terms of your own thinking because it's not always your friends and family members fault you simply haven't changed your conditioning. And always be educating your friends and family that your art is a business. And it comes down to you taking on the responsibility of informing your close network that you are in business and it needs to run as any other business does that measures its progress through uh, profit and loss. And another thing to realize is that some family members feel that they are doing you a favor by requesting a piece of art. Their intention is to make you feel as though your art is wanted, therefore they may request a piece to help lift your morale. <laughs> it could simply be something they've been conditioned to do since you started your art at six years of age. Focus on your art buyers and your collectors. You want to install the mindset that if you are giving away your art for free begrudgingly, now keep in mind that it's totally okay to give your art as a gift if it's your idea but you wanna focus on making sure you have art available for your buyers and your collectors. Plus, consider how it looks for them. They have purchased your work, so put yourself in their shoes. They have been supporting you by buying your art, so how do you think they would feel if they knew you were giving it away because somebody expected it for free? And lastly, don't forget about how much time and money and energy that you've invested into your artwork. You know, think of the struggle of trying to establish your own voice in your art, all those hours that you've spent alone working into the night and times that you've wanted to quit and give it away because you've battled with confidence and your ability issues. Now you've done really well. You've come a long way and done some hard yards. So make sure you keep on track and develop a business from it. If you really want your friends and family to know what the value of your art is, then make sure you have a price on each piece. Now, it may be a little bit difficult at first, but once you've practiced saying no to freebies a couple of times, you'll feel really liberated, and I hope that helps. I hope you got a lot out of this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up below. If you didn't, it's okay, give it a thumbs down. That's fine as well. Better still, leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me if you got some value or what you got out of this in particular. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. That way you'll be notified when I have new content available to watch. Thanks so much for watching and I really do look forward to connecting with you again real soon and helping you advance your career as an artist. Till next time, your art buddy, Carl.